Okay, hello everyone, how are you doing? Well, um, today I'm going to go out and do something a bit different this evening. It looks like a nice evening here in Tbilisi. I'm going to jump in the car, I'm going to head on down to the south of the city. Uh, I've got a sunset spot that I want to shoot, it's something that I've been looking at doing for some time. It's the Palace of Rituals uh, here in Tbilisi. So I'm going to try and get an external, might need a drone, not sure, never been. So I need to go recce it, find out a good spot. And then in the meantime, I'm going to go do something else and then come back to get that shot in the evening. So, yeah, let's go wreck it, find out what it's like, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this one. Okay, so we're here, we've arrived, and uh, somewhere here, there it be, is the Palace of Rituals. The problem I've got, the big issue, is that I've kind of gone around the whole area looking for kind of somewhere to, looking for somewhere to hang out and get a shoot spot, and there isn't really any at all. No elevated positions, no kind of uh, places where I can shoot from, no building sites, there's not really a lot. There is one building site just over there, but it's crowded in workers. It's live building site. You can't get anywhere near it in terms of um, the palace itself is situated on a hill and, and quite elevated. So unfortunately, that means it's going to be a drone photo. Um, for me, I've never recorded a screen to do this kind of live in the field. So I'm going to try and record it on my phone so you can kind of see what I'm doing in the corner. And um, I'll explain to you how I've captured these shots with a drone. For me, there's a few techniques we can use. Um, and I know for a fact that it's going to make it a difficult uh, challenge in terms of there's power lines and it, in a cityscape lo location so I've got to be careful with the drone as well. So let's get it in the air and I'll explain to you what we're doing. Okay, so I've got the drone. Um, first thing is, it's slightly overcast but I can see it's moving in the sky all around us. It's going to look like a nice evening and maybe it's a good time for the drone. I always recommend with the drone, the best time to actually shoot drone photos is about an hour and a half, two hours before golden hour or before sunset because actually you kind of want that dimension. You want the sun low in the sky, but once you get the drone up, you kind of got to imagine the sun in sort of a similar kind of position where actually photos look really dynamic. Main thing as well is of course, I'm looking to get a filter on the front here. Um, I'm sort of swaying between uh, an ND8 and an ND4. I think a four will be fine today. Um, my main concern now is the sun's now dipping below cloud line. Um, I'm hoping that the cloud will break up a little bit because that will ruin my shot overall if not. Um, so I'm going to go for ND4, there is a lot of blue sky but over in that side it's, it's obviously very overcast. So ND4, I'm going to get it on the front. Right, these things are always quite fiddly, these little handles. But I've never lost one, I've still got my spares after two years, nearly two years on the road. That's not too bad is it? It's pretty good. I'm just going to get my phone in here then. It's literally smashed to pieces my phone. So it's uh, always difficult to fly the drone now, it's not the most difficult, you know, most easier things to do. Uh, I'm going to set it up. I had a problem actually with it uh, some time ago where my USB port on my phone was knackered. So every time I got the drone up in the air, things were looking, uh, you know, weren't connecting, they kept disconnecting mid air and stuff like this. So that was kind of annoying. I'm just going to put the handset on, just connect all the wires and, and all the clips from the drone. One thing, when I do this, I always um, put all my stuff together. I uh, usually lay it all in the bottom of my bag just so that kind of. 
uh, I don't lose any of the bits that we need. That battery's not quite full, so I'm just going to change it over as well. Another problem, <laughs> as per usual, this battery's not quite full either. So, three quarter batteries it's going to have to be. Sun has just come out, which is kind of weird. Um, it has illuminated the, um, the palace really nicely, so I'm hoping that we can uh, get this up now and get a decent shot of it. Let's, uh, let's try. Always a resource file, isn't there? Whenever you, uh, <laughs> whenever you don't use your drone for a minute, there's always some sort of file or some sort of thing that's got to like be imported onto the drone. We just want to go fly. Do you know what I mean? The other thing with the Mavic 2, you've always got to calibrate it every time you've moved it. You find that really annoying, and you miss a lot of shots when you're trying to do it in a hurry. So let me carry on. Also forgot my SD card, so that means I'm going to have to capture it on the drone. Luckily, there is space on the Mavic 2. First thing, I've got to get this up and I've got to watch those power lines. I'm always keeping an eye on it. It's only just there. It is above water though. I'm trying to find a position now on the drone where um, it doesn't over, you know, sorry, not on the drone. Yeah, I'm trying to move the drone into position so that the building itself looks quite tall, quite powerful, um, but also doesn't overlap other buildings that are behind it. Um, and that's one of the main things that I need to keep an eye on now. going to go a little bit closer i have chosen the right filter by the way which is positive news um with my drone as well i actually take uh, multiple brackets so i actually turn it on to uh, e a e b mode and i always capture five um just because it's in the air and i don't want to make sure that i've got everything that i need so five brackets is absolutely fine i'm shooting it right at the moment i'm on f8 um, i'm actually no i'm not that's an absolute lie i'm on f3.5 shutter speed is 1 60th of a second um capturing those ISO 100. I'm trying to just like still line up this to try and get it looking like really nice, really neat. It's quite a difficult one to line up, so making sure that we're doing that. Keeping an eye on it as well. Keeping an eye on the little drone. Nice photos, but I'm not sure they're going to win any awards anytime soon. Um, but they're certainly, uh, you know, it's a nice place. It looks cool. It's actually a wedding venue, really. Um, that's what it is. It's a nice place. The light is pretty nice at the moment. So perfect time of day for the drone as well. Get a couple of more video clips so you guys can actually see what we're doing. Keeping an eye on it. Pulling it out. I'm coming right close to these power lines now, so I've got to be a little bit careful. quite like that one. I'm going to go back to photo mode now. I've pulled out so far that it's really difficult to kind of see. No seagulls are attacking me so we're good. I'm going to try and get one a little bit more straight on. Now, there's a lot of high rise behind the palace now as well which is kind of a little bit infuriating actually. I'm going to line it up so that the palace that's behind, kind of blocking the view somewhat, um, is overlapping it. Do you know what I mean? So it's hidden behind. I think that's a good thing to do. It might mean that I need to crop the overall photo, um, just in on the left-hand side to even it up. But apart from that, it's looking pretty good. To be honest, there's a lot of clutter there, a lot. So the best thing, I've, I've just got it a little bit lower now. I've angled it down. Got a lot of greenery. I like the greenery in there in the foreground. Um, the structure looks really nice, kind of looking towards the camera. Like it's just angled slightly so you can see depth. So it's kind of like 
slightly off to one side so you can see the kind of depth of the image. The drone's just floating there. I'm going to get some still video now. Pull the drone slightly back. I'm going to go off to one side, I'm going to zoom on in, I'm going to bring the drone a lot closer to what it was a minute ago. Okay. I've now got a lot of low battery already, would you believe it? Of course that happens. I'm just going to give it a little bit more separation there. So what I've done there is I've got it, I've got no overlapping parts of concrete. This annoys, doesn't that annoy the hell out of you? Um, that's the problem when your battery's not fully charged though, you don't get long in the air. I'm going to take another more, couple more shots. You do get about another 10 minutes. If you're keeping it quite close, you don't get that much. You know, you do get quite a long time actually before you have to pull it down and abandon ship, as it were. I'm just gonna get one more there. I like the way that um, the palace is actually sitting at the moment. That's nice. Sky looks really good behind it. The filters are making it pop. I'm just gonna switch back to video mode. I'm always thinking like to try and maximize my flight time. That's usually without a flat battery, obviously. Um, maximize the flight time, get clips, get video, get photography, the whole shebang, you know. And I try and use the battery as long as possible, as long as I know I can get back. For me, it's always like the same battles. Architects of photography and with these things, it's quite difficult. My best tip in there, my best advice would be to plan your shots out. Know kind of in your head what you're going to get prior to going there. So the first thing I'm going to do before I use another battery is I'm going to just check the photo. So I've gone into the, the app itself. I've got enough battery left to do that. I'm just going to look through some of these brackets, um, check that I'm happy. And this is kind of what we've got. It looks pretty nice, yeah, reasonable. Uh, and then basically, it's all right. It's a nice, you know, it's a nice shot. It's, I've got all the brackets here. If you go in, so on here, you can select any of these. I can go in, I can check the sky. Look, the sky's looking really nice. The light on the, on the actual palace itself looks really good. So I actually think I'm done here, so we can kind of move on. The light has now fallen off the palace as well, so as far as I'm concerned, it's time to move on. Oh, look at this guy. He's in here, come and say hello. It's cute, isn't he? A lot of stray dogs into Lisi. They're normally really healthy and friendly. This guy's definitely one of those. Look at him. Hello. Ah. So timid. They're always so timid. Just calm. Okay, I think that's everything for this week. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Something a bit different from around here in Tbilisi. Um, get architecture and drones. It's difficult to get the exteriors. It's all about the angles, the time of the day, um, taking your time, planning out your shots prior, all the things I've mentioned really. Um, if I've got missed anything, obviously leave them in the comment section below and I'll ensure to come back to you. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think we're done for this week. Bye bye for now.